everyone. So I felt like playing with makeup today. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little get ready with me. I'm going to do an old fashioned voiceover just to kind of speed things up a little bit. But we're trying out a few things that I also got in PR. We're going to test out this new Coastal Alter Ego palette. And we're going to see if this is a dupe for the Huda Beauty uh, palette. And I also discovered a new lip combination that I'm really, really liking. I'm loving the shade and the, the formula, the texture on my lips feels so, so good right now. And we're just gonna revisit some of my old products that I haven't had on my channel for like forever. I always love doing that. I, I find sometimes my products get buried in the in my totes. Some of my older stuff just kind of gets buried. When I start flipping through them and I go, wow, I, I haven't used this for so long. And I start, you know, bringing everything out. So I thought, you know what? I just want to do that today. I want to place with some makeup. So I hope you join me. And if you're curious to see what products I use to create this look, let's get into it. Off camera, I went in with my Revlon Colorstay Micro Bell Pencil in the shade Medium Brown. We're going to go in with the Alter Ego Eyeshadow Base. This one does a nice job of uh, keeping my eyeshadow on all day. There's no creasing. It has a nice little wand. The shade is nice as well. It's a creamy formula. And it really does help your eyeshadow adhere uh, better to your uh, skin and I just blend it in with my fingers. Like I said, it's a really, really creamy formula. I'm going to go with my favorite color corrector right now, the Clinique Even Better All Over Primer and Color Corrector in the shade Peach. This has become my new holy grail. I love how uh, hydrated it makes my eyes feel. I just like blending it in with my fingers. I find it uh, blends in uh, really well that way and the shade is just perfect for the darkness that I have under my eyes. It just makes my concealer look so good under my eyes. I think this is a really underrated uh, primer. This is the Revolution Glass Skin Primer. This gives me such a beautiful and natural radiance to my skin. It's like a little gel formula but it's very hydrating and it really gives my skin a healthy glow to it. You can use this just on its own if you just want that kind of natural dewy look, or I, I like to use it under my foundation, especially if I have a foundation that has more of a, not maybe as glowy look. So I use my Sephora tape because I want to do a wing liner today. So let's test out this Coastal Alter Ego palette. This is such a beautiful color story. It has some mattes, some shimmer shades, a couple of marbled uh, two-tone styles. I love the richness of it, the pinks, the browns, golds. It has some purples. So you can really create some different looks with this one. We're gonna go in with the shade called Jellyfish. It's a nice pastel shade. I don't have the uh, Huda Beauty palette to compare it to, unfortunately, but there are so many content creators that have it uh, on their channels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a bunch of channels down in my description box that actually show the, the different colors and the comparisons. They do a, a great uh, job of swatching all the shades. So like I said, I'll leave that down below for you guys, but isn't that just a perfect pastel shade? We're going to go in with this nice brown shade. It's called Shallow, and I'm going to use that as my crease shade. And I'm going to use my Refer 01 brush. Refer, by the way, is having a sale right now. It's 40% off, and that's 40% off site-wide. So if you've ever been interested in the Refer brushes, they are amazing quality. Refer brushes are made in Japan using uncut natural hair. So fantastic quality. And I will have all the uh, brushes I'm using, I will have them uh, listed down below for you guys. But it just says that they are so soft and really, really beautiful. Next, we're going in with the shade Coco. So it's a bit of a darker brown. And I'm going in with my Angie Hot and Flashy. This is the A504 brush. 
just a little bit of a detailer brush, but I want that right on the very corner of my eye. And I'm just trying to give it a little bit of dimension. The eyeshadow is very, very smooth. It's very buttery. I'm just trying to build up that outer corner. I'm using my BK Beauty 201 brush and I just want to, it's just like a big fluffy brush and I just want to make sure that there's no harsh lines at all. Make sure everything's blended in. Next we're going to go in with Starfish Shimmer Shade. But I'm going to use my e.l.f. setting uh, spray that's going to help the shimmer adhere a little bit better to my eye. It's the just a cute little pink shade. And I just want that little, that inner corner to pop. It, it is sticking, see how it sticks better, way better with the setting spray. I think that looks so pretty. Now that's both eyes done. They've all blended in really beautifully. I love the color story. In order to create the wing, I'm going to go with the L'Oreal Infallible uh, Felt Liner in the shade Brown. I really have been enjoying this liner. It doesn't skip. It doesn't... Now the color stays true all day. There's no smudging. Thank goodness for that tape because I really... <laughs> it's hard sometimes to do these wing little looks, so I, I'm really thankful for that tape. Really trying to work on you know, getting that flick of the, the of the wing. Now the deciding moment as I take the tape off, make sure that everything worked out and it's like, yay, it worked. <laughs> I love the tape hack. It's been a hot minute since I've used the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. I have two shades because one was a little bit too dark. Uh, and then I bought a lighter version and I what I basically do is just blend them together and it creates the perfect shade for me. But I did a whole first impression on this uh, foundation. It's really quite gorgeous. This foundation gives you more of a natural finish. It's waterproof. Uh, I find it gives me more of a medium coverage. Uh, it's very long wearing. It does say that it's best for like oily combo or normal skin, but I really like it on my dry skin. I think it does a nice job. It doesn't look too dry or matte or anything like that. So I really like it for my dry skin. But again, everybody's skin is different. But that's just half of my face done. And you can see the coverage that it gives me. It's quite lovely. I just go in after that, I put it on and use my e.l.f. sponge. Just make sure everything's blended in and that there's no brush strokes at all or anything like that. And just make sure everything's in, sinking into the skin. We're going to go in with a concealer today. It is a Canadian brand. This is called Koi and I have this in the shade Ivory. I probably could have gone a little bit darker on the shade but we'll, we'll work with it. <laughs> it's quite an affordable concealer. Uh, I like how it does leave me uh, like hydrated under my eyes. It doesn't look dry by the end of the night. It's quite uh, comfortable and I also do a little bit of highlighting as well. Just going in with my Real Techniques uh, concealer brush and gently blend it in. But this one I like because it doesn't emphasize my fine lines, my wrinkles. And it gives me, uh, like, I'm going to say more of a medium coverage. That's why I have the color corrector. Blends in easily. And I just try and be really careful around that wing. I don't want to disturb the wing that I did too much. And then I'm just going to blend in all the highlighting. I just find that evens out my, my skin. And I'm just going to make sure that all that concealer is blended in. I'm just going to go in with the Refer 03 brush. It's like a little pencil brush, but it is great for doing under my 
bottom uh, lash line. And I just took a little bit of the eyeshadow that I used on my top and just run it along my bottom. But it's very detailed. Uh, you can also use this if you wanted to, instead of using eyeliner, you could use uh, eyeshadow and do your upper line. Just keep really close to your lash line. And this, like I said, it's very detailed, so it does a nice job. In my uh, bottom modern line, I'm gonna use my Rimmel. This is the Scandalize, very well used <laughs> in the shade Nude. I love this one for doing my bottom water line. I don't ever use like a, a white. I find that really harsh looking, so I like cream looking formulas. But it brightens the eye up. Off camera, I went and did my tight lining and I'm also using the Lashes, the Kiss uh, Lash Couture in the shade Little Back Dress. This is an oldie but a goodie. It's the L'Oreal uh, Lumi Bronze It. I have this in the shade Medium. This is one of my OG original bronzers. It is not matte, but the little bit of shimmer that it has in it just really helps the, give the skin a little bit of a glow. I'm using my Ruffer 22 brush. This is a bronzer brush. This is one of their flagship uh, brushes. And this is just a beautiful, a uh, well-crafted brush. Very soft and just helps pick up that product and distribute distributes it on the skin really, really beautifully. I make sure to take it right back into my hairline. But it's, it's just the gorgeous shade of bronze. It, it never looks muddy, too orange. I always make sure to run it down my neck so everything looks cohesive. We're using the Physician's Formula. This is the Butter Blush. I have this in the shade Movie Mattes. I love the detail work of the little flowers. It is a very versatile blush. I'm gonna use my Angie Hot and Flashy. This is the A507. This is the blush brush. But there's two sides of this blush. So the top side, is more of a lighter formula and then there's like a darker formula so i always go with usually uh, a mix of both but it gives you just a beautiful shade and i just run that along my cheeks it has a, like a really buttery texture to it again just making sure that i blend it right back into my hairline so everything looks all blended together Next, we're gonna go in with the Revlon Skin Lights. Uh, this is the Prismatic Highlighter. I have this in the shade Daybreak Glimmer. It's more of a goldy shade. And I'm using my Sigma Highlighter Brush, the F03. I'm just applying it right onto my the high point of my cheekbone. It's a very subtle highlighter. It's not one of those ones that has a lot of glitter in it. It just kind of gives you a nice glow and you know the drill. I put it on, you know, down my nose, run it down my nose, and also on my Cupid's bow. Just highlighting the high points of my face. I'm using the Rimmel Lasting Finish Exaggerate uh, Lip Liner in the shade Rose Addiction. I love this uh, lip liner because it has a little bit of an angle to it, which is gets your uh, lip line very precise. It's such a pretty shade for a lip liner. Just a really nice rosy tone to it. And it glides on. It's a nice texture. I always make sure I fill in my whole lip with the lip liner and it just helps my lipstick stay on for a good portion of the day. Now I could decide between all of my Milani lipsticks. You see I have a few of them. They are so fantastic. I love them. But I did decide on the shade Peony. And it's a more of like a darker rose shade. I know the packaging looks a little bit more pink. But I think it complements the eye look really well. These are a really creamy, a rich lipstick. A very like a velvet matte finish but never drying on the lip. Uh, they have a little bit of hyaluronic acid in it that makes it a little bit more hydrated than other ones. But this is like a one and done, like a one stroke kind of lipstick and that pigment stays on all day. This was a product that was sent to me in PR. It is the Merit a Shade Slick Jelly. It's a new product, it's a tinted lip oil and I have this one in the shade a Jetty. It is so beautiful, it has a little slight pigment to it. I wanted the sheerest shade 
but it is so pretty. The applicator is uh, very tiny, precise. And I couldn't believe actually when I put it on how hydrated my lips feel. And it just gives a nice little gloss. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I find it always fun revisiting some old products. There's a few that stood out for me today of, of like some of the, the ones that I, I tried. So the Makeup Forever HD Skin uh, Foundation. Really, really enjoyed this. I don't know if you can see how just it looks really lovely on the skin. I wanted to do it in, in natural daylight. Unfortunately, it is pouring rain here today, so I can't take you outside, uh, but I hopefully you can see some of the natural light, but I think it just looks beautiful. I always forget about this one. It's kind of buried at the bottom of my, my foundation uh, tote that I have, but it is definitely a gem. And this palette, I don't know, this is just amazing how great the quality is. I mean, look at the eye look it created. It, it's just beautiful. And when I was looking in the mirror, I, I was just blown away by how the colors are so vibrant and how, how they blended in so beautifully. It was just like a buttery texture going on your eyelids. It was just, it's just beautiful. So highly suggest this one. And I think I mentioned in the video as well, like the, the Huda Beauty palette is $90 Canadian. <laughs> And this one is $20 American. So even if you're in Canada and you were to order this from, uh, from the, the Alter Ego website, you would still be paying a fraction of the cost uh, between like, you know, like some your duty charges and the exchange rate and stuff, but it would still be so much cheaper than the Huda palette. And I think this is just fabulous. I love, love, love this. And so far I'm loving this lip combo I've got going today. I haven't tried this lip combo before, but it's with that the combination of the Rimmel lip liner, the uh, Milani lipstick, and then the new uh, Merit uh, jelly formula. This is so pretty. And I love how it is like, it's just this little stick. You put it on, there's no, like it doesn't feel sticky at all. Like there's no taste to it. There's no like smell or anything like that to it. So this is really, really lovely. I love this. So I, I always love coming up with uh, new combinations of lip products. You never know what you're gonna find. So if you have stuck around this long, thank you so much for watching the video. If you haven't already, I would love to consider subscribing to my channel. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell that's right beside it. And that way you're notified whenever I upload new videos. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. That also helps my channel out a lot. And everything will be uh, linked and listed down below. And if you ever do use any of my affiliate links, I thank you so much for helping to support my channel. I do earn like a very, very small, and when I say small, small commission off of some of those links. So thank you so much. And as always, I hope everybody has a great week and a great life, and I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.